They've chosen the team, the roles are assigned and the training has begun, but there was one small detail still to be sorted, a boat. With the help of one assault group Royal Marines, the team took delivery of their yacht named Nikki. At 30 foot long, Nikki could well be home to the team for five days and five nights. They will sail up the west coast of Britain in a test of grit and determination, all against the clock. What happens is that the boat races along, gets to various stops, and then you put two runners on the top of each of the highest mountains of Wales, Scotland and England. Um, and we had a gap of, uh, from doing that, and I just thought on the 350th anniversary of the Corps, Corps' birthday, we should have another go and see how we get along. We're going to go as best we can. Um, there's an army team out there. Uh, I'd like to throw the gauntlet down and try and beat them, clearly. From the start line of the Three Peaks yacht race in Barmouth to crossing the finish line in Fort William, the team will sail 389 miles, run 73 miles and cycle 30 miles. It sounded like a good uh, good challenge to me and for a good cause, so I thought, why not give it a go? Um, I've not done much sailing before, so it was a new, totally new experience for me. Um, I do enjoy a bit of running, so combining the both, I thought it was a no-brainer, really. The team are fundraising for Hasler Company, a rehabilitation unit very close to their hearts. Based at HMS Drake, Hasler is home to dozens of sick and injured Royal Marines and sailors. Along with most of the lads, especially for the last few years, spent a lot of, a lot of time on operations. But for myself, as an ERI, an exercise rehabilitation instructor, it's a subject quite close to my heart as well. Obviously, we spend a lot of time down, um, down at Limston rehabbing the injured lads, and it's good to give something back. For now, though, Nikki will be safely tied up in Devonport until the start of the race in June. Rebecca Ricks, Forces News, Plymouth.